Russell here, aka Bell and Circuit. Uh, today we're breaking down the very cinematic beat that I made by sampling two jazz records and two funk records. As always, the beat will be on my SoundCloud account and the link will be in the description. This was a really fun one. I did some sample chops of piano. I sampled a bass line and then was able to play it in on my keyboard and generally got some good slow jams and drum breaks from one of the premier jazz drummers of all time and came up with one of my favorite beats that I've done so far this year. So, come along, let's get into it. All right, so the song starts with this horn stab. It goes into this three bar piano passage that I'm kind of just letting run here and then the first break comes in and that was lifted right off of a record essentially. Um, I did have to put the drums in mono using the utility plug-in here because if you look at the waveform one channel was way louder than the other um, and I think that's just a artifact of the old recording methods when stuff is all recorded live in a room the drums were probably just mixed that far on the, that side and so when even when only just the drums were playing the whole uh, mix was weighted then towards that side just because that's that's how they did it back in the day. You'll notice also there's a bunch of these little samples. Those came from that super long drum solo that was like minutes, many minutes long. Um, and basically I'm just taking little snippets of that and using it to, for fills and accents and whatnot, so stuff like this, um, or this. So basically it's just the same thing, I'm just using a little bit different parts of it, some longer than others. Um, so that is used to accent and break up the main drum break. So after that sort of intro with the piano, the entire piano sample, we get to this section where I have sampled bass and uh, chopped piano. This is the bass. Um, that's the bass that I sampled. So then I threw that in a simpler and played a really simple bass line. Uh, the piano, I used the old trick of taking the original piano sample and doing the slice to new MIDI track, like this. So then it throws it in an instrument rack here. I adjusted these to where I wanted them to be. And we got this. Those are then all played on the pads on my Akai controller. What you end up with is this.
put it all together and we get this section. And then as we move on, we add in the vocals and some more horn stabs. Uh, the stabs are alternating between two different ones, which is kind of a fade, a, a stab and hold, and then there's that one, which has like some weird aliasing and artifacts just because I kind of stretched it a lot. But it sounds cool and you don't really notice it when everything else is in there. Um, The vocal sample is just uh, a dude counting stuff off in uh, maybe another language? I don't know. Or maybe he's just slurring because he's drunk. It's hard to tell. That whole section is that. So the played sampled bass, chopped piano, the vocals, the alternating horn fades, and the break. The next section uh, has the same break. It's a way to build into the next section because the break is quite different. So, for example, that's the break in the, the second main section here. But it was really jarring going right from this. So I had to figure out a way to sort of ease into that transition and build. First of all, there is a little stop, and then we introduce this new bass and keys figure. We've got some transitional stuff to try to get into that next section, but I'm keeping with this same bass to at least have some overlap and some consistency as we go into it. I'm starting to introduce this uh, sample here, which is um, very percussive, but it originally started out as a horn accent and drums, and they pitched it down a lot, 15 semitones. We also have this timpani. So very sort of cinematic. It's pitched down a little bit and there are some artifacts on it, but again, I didn't care. Um, it all works. We introduced the timpani and the new bass line sample, which is very sort of subtle and understated with these weird clav kind of things behind it. And then we bring in uh, break. Then we get to the You know I love my slow jams. This sample and this swell sample came from the same record and around the same part in the song. They both have that kind of uh, ominous, swelling horn sound. This one... has some funky electric piano, and then we get into, this in the second half of it, we get into some trumpet. This loop is nine bars long, as contrasted with the swell loop, which is four bars long. So that means that that ominous swell kind of continues to fall on different points. There's the slow jam swell. 
and then the swell sample. So they're just offset and they just kind of keep shifting around. Alright, thanks. See you next time. Why am I saying we? You guys didn't do it. You're just along for the ride.